Well, I think to start with the New Democrats, they're probably the biggest losers, at least the way it looks uh, at this hour, that uh, they had signed the coalition agreement. They thought they were finally going to get into cabinet. They could become a party of government. That would be a huge step forward for them. And now they find that uh, Mr. Ignatiev has pulled the rug out from under that. So I think they've lost uh, relative to their expectations that they've built up. Mm -hmm. Uh, the Liberals, uh, I think, have emerged from the last couple of months in a stronger position. Uh, it wasn't all planned exactly, but they ended up getting rid of uh, Stefan Zion, who was not an effective leader. They have Michael Ignatieff, who I think is going to be a much better leader for them. And uh, they don't have to have the expense of a leadership race when incurring more debt. Uh, so I think they've come out ahead. I would say the Conservatives lost ground in the fall. They came out of the election appearing to have the initiative, coming close to a majority. Mm -hmm. And then uh, through unwise politics in the fall, they provoked uh, the one thing you should never do in a minority government is to provoke all your opponents to line up against you simultaneously. But they did that. And so now they're climbing out of the hole that they dug for themselves. And I think that they are making some ground, making up some ground. By getting his budget through, Mr. Harper will uh, probably guarantee that he can now get an election in the future whenever he wants it. Uh, having had a budget pass, it's hard for me to see how the Governor General would deny a request for an election. So Mr. Harper has made some real gains, if indeed the budget does get passed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there is a lot of unhappiness uh, among people like myself about the, the size of the deficit, people who have been you know, very supportive of the government up to this point. Uh, I don't think any of us are turning away from the government to vote for other parties right now, but there's no question that uh, that uh, those of a conservative persuasion are going to be watching, and in particular to make sure that the uh, the deficits are temporary and that the the plans that are laid out for uh, getting away from deficit spending are adhered to. Um, yeah, it's it's one of the many problems that the conservatives created for themselves. But uh, it's basically this reality that you've got these two uh, parties which have a history of governing, uh, hating each other, but forced to work together to get anything done. Well, I mean, let's hope there's lots of ill feeling between the NDP and the Liberals. That's always <laughs> good. But, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, I, think, I think Mr. Layton has to uh, revisit his rhetoric. You know, the, the Parliament's not a kindergarten. Uh, he said he can't trust Mr. Harper. Now he's saying he can't trust Mr. Ignatieff. I mean, like, those are the options. Those mm -hmm. are the two major party leaders. Mr. Layton is leading a minor party. Um, I, th I think he ought to rethink the intensity of, of his rhetoric and realize you win some, you lose some, but there are a lot of battles ahead and the day may come when he's going to want to cooperate again with the Liberals or maybe with the Conservatives. So uh, I, I think it would be good for him to ratchet it down a bit. Did you just say the NDP may want to cooperate with the Conservatives? Well, sure, the time may come. They've cooperated with the Conservatives in the past on uh, Lots of votes in the in the House of Commons uh, in terms of election strategy in 2006. The uh, NDP de facto collaborated with the Conservatives because they they leveled all their attacks at the Liberals um, and helped bring about a uh, conservative government. Because the Liberals have never really forgotten that one. So uh, you know, politics is all about coalitions, and they are forever being formed and and broken up. And you never have shouldn't ever have permanent friends and permanent enemies. You only have permanent permanent interests. And I think uh, Mr. Layton has just um, has become a bit too emotional about the whole thing. Yeah, I